Hello my friends, I hope you're doing well, I hope you're doing good, I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here playing one man, one mod, trying to learn everything that we can about Industrial Craft 2, and let me tell you what we've been learning, that's for sure. We got our nuclear reactor fired up, let's get spun around here. We got a little project that we're going to work on today, uh, actually it was from... Uh, my old buddy Swede Gaming asked me in yesterday's episode, hey, is there any sort of like auto crafting in uh, IC2 that maybe we can take advantage of? And as a matter of fact, there is a little bit of auto crafting. Let's get some carrots out of here. We're a little light on food, that's for sure. It's not really like auto crafting per se. I mean, it's kind of like auto crafting, but... Um, you essentially can there's a there's a thing it's called the batch crafter and we're gonna make this here in just a few minutes um, and set this thing up I think we have all the pieces parts but the cool thing about it you can essentially save a re uh, a recipe in it and you can uh, use like ejecting and pulling upgrades to pull resources from another inventory into the batch crafter and then export those resources out the other side so let's put this thing together it's kind of pricey but it's not too bad. Do we have... Let me see. Yeah, I might need that. Do we have... How many of these uh, those things do we have? Ah, we have enough. Good. Let's get those. Let's get one, two of these. Uh, do I have... Uh, yeah, let's get those. Okay. And let's get a little bit of steel. Oh, we're low on steel. But I think this is going to be enough. Okay, let's change this to that. You roll those steel plates out, guy. Okay, so to make the batch crafter, the first thing we have to do is make the industrial workbench. It just takes a basic machine uh, casing, a, a crafting table, a forge hammer, and some cutters. So, let's see, are these um, iron? That's iron, and that's iron plates. Okay. And then just a basic machine craft. Okay, so we can build that guy right away. Let's get some of these iron plates out of here. And let us get some iron. Yeah, okay. We're going to need some sticks. So let's see if we can't get a couple of those. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, my nose is kind of like trying to freak out. Hang in there. <laughs> Crazy nose. Dang thing. Okay, let's grab uh, some oak wood. I'll make some sticks. Okay. And we will go... What will we do? We will go here and let's start making all of these things. So, okay. So the first thing, we need a crafting bench. Done. We're going to need some sticks. Uh, just a couple. Okay. And let's go here and make, first of all, the industrial workbench. So this we can make. Bang. Uh, this week. Oh, we have to make. This we can make. Bang. And then we should be able to make this guy right here. Now, the industrial workbench, we haven't covered this thing. Oh, by the way, I was in the nether grinding out some nether rack, just feeding it into my recycler. So here's the industrial workbench. Now, it's kind of cool because you could put stuff in it and leave it, right? It kind of works like, unlike a normal crafting table, you... Uh, hey. Oh, that's right. No, we don't want to do that. <laughs> but anyway, you can put stuff in there, and it automatically, it'll save it, right? So you put those in here like this. It's got a little bit of an inventory, so you can put up some things like that and do whatever you want to. Works pretty good. It uh, doesn't require power, and you can set up recipes in here. So, for example, like say we want to go like a recipe like that, right? We can click that out, and we can use it to make whatever we want to, right? So that's kind of cool. But... Uh, we don't really need a, oh the other thing about the workbench is if you put it next to let me show you uh no nice try make sure we get out our wrench before we just go ahead and break this thing there we go um if we put this thing like down next to oh let's see it's, what's a good example um how about like the rolling machine put this guy right there Okay, we actually can see the metal former and we can get in there and like access that guy. And then when we hit escape, right, we hit, when we hit, when we go into that guy. So if I go over here and get myself like a couple iron ingots, 
Let's just get five of these. Open up the industrial workbench. Because it's touching the metal former, I can actually have access to the metal former's uh, UI, right? And then I can just go back here and do whatever I want to. So it's kind of powerful. Um, it sees blocks that are on the cardinal directions from it. So you could have it in the middle and have a bunch of your different things. You're like, oh, I need some iron plates. Let me click on the metal former. Oh, I made some iron plates. Let's get those out. And then I can put those in and do whatever I want to, right? So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty powerful little tool. But we're not uh, worried too much about that guy because what we need is we want to make the batch crafter. Okay, so let's go in here, first of all, and get this. And we'll get some redstone out of here and some rubber. Okay, let's not hold that wrench in our hand so we're not making things go all crazy. Okay, we have, oh yeah, sweet. Okay, so let's make ourselves a couple of these. Oh, we need to make one of these guys, just one, because we already have one. Do I need another one? No, okay. And then I just need all the pieces parts. I don't know if I have all the pieces parts. Did I use all my glowstone? No, I think I think we might be okay. Some lapis, okay. So let's make some of these guys, okay? Two of those, all right? We need to make an advanced machine casing, which is why I made these guys. We have those and we have that other stuff, okay. So we can make this advanced machine casing. We need some bronze, one, two, three, four, five, six, I wanna say. Is this enough? And then like that, right? so we can get a wrench. Okay, and then we need another forge hammer. So we have two of those. And now we should be able to make this guy, right? Batch crafter. Okay, now the batch crafter, we put him down. He takes power. Now the difference between him is we can actually save a recipe in this guy. Like that, right? And we put the resources in here like that. <laughs> well, it's kind of weird how it... Uh, put those all in there uh, but essentially it tries to mimic what's going on there so this makes a chest and then if we give it power it would actually make those as long as we have these resources in here okay and it tries to uh, allocate those out so uh, and then we can just if you just shift click you can clear it out okay so one of the things that swede was talking about in his comment is hey if there was a tool that you could use, such as a batch crafter. And you can see that it takes overclocker upgrades, transformer upgrades, ejectors, pulling, etc. And we could make a recipe that produces items. Maybe we could use that to fuel our recycler. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to get this. And then we're also going to grab. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and just make it. We have the wood. We can make a a chest like this. All right, so what we're going to do... Oh, the other thing we need to do is we need to go find our pump. I think we're probably good on water for a while. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, and then we can get this out of here. It's barely using any water, by the way, or any power to pump that stuff out of there. Okay, so let's go charge up this battery quick. Because we're trying to get to the point where we can have enough. So if I put this guy, I think he'll charge in here, right? Will he charge? Yep, just 10,000 EU. So that's not too bad. So now if I go down to my nuclear reactor area, uh, which is over here. <laughs> I've been doing that spin move for a couple days now. So let's get all the way down. And if I take this guy and I set this batch crafter here, okay? We're going to set him right there. And we're going to go inside his inventory and get him a little bit of power. Now we're going to have to fill this battery up a couple times. This is a tier one machine. So we really don't want to be pulling power off anything. Uh, tier one? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we can. Where are my things? Let's take this out. Where are my transformer upgrades? Where did I put those in? This guy's got one. I think it's okay if we pull that. Let's just leave that in there because I, let me see. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember what we had going on here. So we have an HV transformer. 
He's putting out 512 right there. It's 512. So if I get two transformer upgrades, I think we can make that work. All right, let's go up here and see. We may have this ridiculous explosion on our hand. I don't think we will, though. I hope not. Where are my two transformer upgrades? Right there. Okay. 32, 128, 512. That should be okay. That should work. And do I have any fiber cable? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Now, I want to see if I can find... Let's see if we've got any... There's like bad guys out here. No, let's not use that. Don't use that. That thing's on scatter mode because I was just blowing up the nether with it. Okay. You're dead. Okay, we don't care about that Enderman guy. Okay, so let's see if we have... Do we have some cobblestone? No. You know what we can do, though? Let's do this. Let's take all of this oak wood, and we're going to convert... Let's just take one stack of it and convert it. Okay. So, we have a chest. Oh, we also need to get some upgrades. I mean, this is certainly a way that we can sort of improve. We need um, ejector upgrades and a pooling upgrade. That's what we need. Okay. All right, let's go back down here to our nuclear reactor area. And then we'll see if we can't get this thing set up. Man, I hope this thing works. Oh, my. Makes me scared a little bit. Okay. So if I put these guys in here... Oh, he won't take transformer upgrades. Oh, yeah, he will. Will he? Yeah. Okay. So 512, it's going to connect right there, and it's going to blow this thing to kingdom come. This <laughs> is what's going to happen. Okay, let's go... It's very important that we don't touch that cable with our cable. Okay, I think I can go like... Oh, please don't go there. Oh, okay, just like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's oh, man, that scared me. I thought we were going to have a huge explosion. But we didn't. It's all good in the hood. Okay. So now, if I go into this guy and I say, hey, I want you to make... I want you to make this. Okay? All right. And then we, get, we set up our pulling upgrade, and we're going to pull into this machine from this direction. All right, so this guy's going to go in here, like so. You can't shift those, cl shift, click those in. And we can put down this guy. Okay, put this guy, like, right beside him. Okay, and then if we put these in here... West side. Is that West? No. Oh, no. Let's fix this. It's got to pull from the east side. East side? Okay. And then this guy goes in here. It's going to pull all those guys in there. You can see it's going to start crafting oak slabs. Right? So if we put these in here as well. Right? And we convert a whole bunch more. Right? It'll convert all of these guys into oak slabs. Until it gets its inventory filled. Okay? And then we could take an ejector upgrade... And we're going to eject this way. And we're going to say, hey, I want you to eject your items into the recycler. Yeah? Okay. And it's like cranking right along, doing its deal. Right? And this thing, I mean, it's going to help. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking three planks, making six slabs, and the recycler doesn't care. Anything that it processes, it's going to use the same way. So it doesn't matter what that might be. So with that being set up that way... Let's go open our deal here. Put this away, uh, this away, that away. Keep this. That can go in there. Okay. Only boxable in disabled state. Okay, I'm not trying to put it in the box. <laughs> okay, let's go up here. And let's fix the rest of our inventory. What's in this guy? junk okay let's go inside here because i want to get a big load i'll be able to go back to the old base and get a whole bunch of cobblestone so all of this stuff this and this and this and that and that and that and that and that and that 
that that we don't need that can go in there these guys can go in there keep that okay uh, yeah that's good all right so now if we go back to the old base get on our boat and head over there okay we're gonna head back to the old base and we'll get a big stack of cobblestone I was trying to think if there's anything that you can sort of extend that even further I don't know I mean I was thinking well like an ingot you can make nuggets but ingots are kind of few and far between but it is a one to nine um, I don't know what else that we could craft where we can get tons and tons of resources from like essentially double or triple our output I mean maybe sticks but sticks is just double right and that's essentially what we're doing there so two planks gives me four sticks um, three planks give me six planks or no yeah so two planks give me four sticks and three planks give me six slabs so I don't think it's necessarily any better but if we run over here we can grab all this cobble we can set up the recipe to make cobblestone slabs and then we could just rip all those right in there right let's leave our boat over here so we can come get it here in a minute we're gonna run Might we'll use our jetpack to get us to the top of this hill. And we're going to come back with as much cobblestone as we can possibly carry. And essentially we'll double it, right? That's what's going to happen. We're going to take three cobblestone, turn into three plant or three slab or six slabs, and essentially double our output. So that's going to be a little bit better. I mean, technically we could go hit the mines and I mean, you know, you're kind of hindsight 2020. I wish I hadn't thrown away so many of uh, my stuff but whatever it is what it is um, the thing to remember though is the recycler doesn't care it'll process literally any block in the game so if you have like a farm where you've got tons of seeds or you know you've got leaves or whatever you might have let's see okay get these okay uh, nope oh, we don't even have a full inventory of cobblestone do we Oh, we have some in here. Okay, that's pretty close. Can we make uh, these? No, okay. Let's see. Any other stuffs that we can use? Like, we can put all these leaves in here. We can just run those into the recycler. Why not? Okay, you get out of there. Do I have anything else that I have a stack of? Might as well try to process as much as I can. Okay, what about in, in here? No. I, mean, I can just grab some... Let's see what we can do with this netherrack's only smelting. Okay, we'll just grab some diorite. That's fine. As long as we have full stacks of everything, like you go out and let's get diorite. Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's head back to our base now. And uh, we can use that batch crafter just to go completely crazy and try to craft as many of these slabs as possible. And, I mean, that'll help. Because we want to get to 120, <laughs> 120 millibuckets of UU matter. And it's amazing, without, like, a cobblestone generator or something like that, it's amazing how long that actually t takes. It takes forever to make that happen. Which is kind of the way it is. Okay. So I hope that answers your question, Swede. We do have a little bit of auto-crafting in this pack, uh, but it's not like auto-crafting, not like, you know, like uh, refined storage or uh, applied energistics or something like that. It's just you can sort of set a resource or a recipe and just pump items to it. But I think for the application that you were talking about in your comment, that's exactly what this batch crafter does. Essentially doubles our cobblestone output, which isn't too bad, right? Instead of having however many stacks of cobblestone we're gonna have double that so that's good now there's a bunch of little tricks that you can play if you've got different mods in your mod pack like for instance uh, chisel and bits you can make bits 
and they each have an opportunity. Each bit has the same opportunity to make a piece of scrap. So you could take one of those like fluid tanks and you could feed uh, fluid bits, which are actually items, into the recycler. I mean, that'd be a good way to get it done. And then you'd be taking one block of water, one bucket of water, and changing it into like 32,000 blocks. But we don't have that capability. Uh, we don't have that in our mod pack, so we do what we can do. But planks are a good one. Um, it seems like everyone gets tons and tons of cobbles, so maybe cobble's the right call. Actually, don't we can do? Ah, we better park it. I was just going to say we could just take it over there to our, our deal if we wanted to. Okay. Let's go down here and get in this guy. And we'll set this recipe up. And then we should be good to go. Okay, you. What's it doing? Let's still process them. Still pulling these guys out slowly. Okay, so we should let these run through. See, let's see how much. Um, we're up to 72. So we need 120. 120 is our goal, and we're going to try to get that today. So tomorrow, we can finish up this series in tomorrow's episode uh, by having a little bit of fun. Right? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> and, I don't, well, we are going to learn something tomorrow. That's for sure. Uh, so just just uh, hang loose. So we'll go through that process. Okay, and then like you guys here, I'm going to throw in there. Okay, so this is this is gonna fit those in there. It'll cycle those through. Uh, we could probably stand to take one of these out, and we could stick it in here. There, just speed up that process a little bit better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You know what we could do is so it's gonna run through all of these first. It's actually. Ah, let's just do this. Let's take these out. Okay, take these out. We're going to erase this recipe, and then we want to go one, two, three. Get these guys going, and we're going to replace this recipe with this. Okay, and you can see it's going to start pulling all that stuff in. Now it's going to make slabs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of cool, right? That's a good idea. And then what we can do is uh, I could throw together... A crafting bench down here so we just don't have to go upstairs or I can just put this over here in the corner somewhere and then we can take these that these that these that right and we can just dump these up here just so we have some extra odds and ends those are gonna cycle through first through the recycler oh no it's actually pulling slabs now so this is keeping up pretty good and it just keeps three stacks, right? However many items you have in here is how many it's going to keep. So we're essentially now doubling our cobblestone output, which is awesome. We're seeing a little bit of scrap showing up, which is good. And then this guy should be getting that amplifier. Not constantly, but more often than before. And as soon as that amplifier kicks in, you see the progress go up a much, much faster. Yeah, see how fast it goes up when we have scrap? So the key would be to get enough recyclers going where we can keep this thing fed with scrap at all time. But we're already up to 75. Okay. So there you go, sweet. Batch crafter. Works like a dream. Um, sorta. At least for this application. I mean, there's probably other things. Uh, like bone? Bone? So a bone... Uh, what do we... Let me see. So we can turn one bone into three bone meal. Right? Just by crafting it. So you could do something like that. Right, and that'd be tripling the output there. If you had like a mob farm or something like that, you could certainly do it that way. Um, I can't think of anything else that multiplies like that, really. I mean, if you had like a melon farm, right? You could pump melons into the batch crafter and turn them into melon slices. And that's like a one for nine. I mean, you'd have to have a pretty massive melon farm or at least a huge backlog I'm trying to think if there's anything else out there that you can produce in mass quantities that you can divide up if you want to. I mean, of course, like, we have nuggets in the game, like iron nuggets, right? And you could do it this way. You know, gold's the same way. You'd have a crazy, like, zombie pigman farm in the nether, start raking in those. I mean, that might be an option, right? So there's a couple ways. Um, you just need to find, if you're, like, in a vanilla world and you're doing vanilla-type things... You gotta find enough 
uh, items to feed these recyclers so we can get the UU matter out of it. That's what we're trying to get done. <laughs> we're trying to make UU matter, so we need scrap. So you need to grind up tons and tons of items to be able to make that scrap happen. Yeah? Okay. So this is going to run for a little while. Uh, I think what I'm going to do... Maybe I'll go AFK until this is all processed. And I'll come back here and see. How's our reactor doing? Yeah, we're getting down to about 50%. But I think we're going to get to 120. So then I can show you how all this crazy stuff works, right? The scanner. These are full, by the way. Um, we should be actually maybe getting a little bit of backlog. No, not really. But these are all filled up. This has 2 million uh, EU in it. This one's got 512k. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me let this run for a while. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. It's been about an hour since I've been AFK. Man, there was a spider on the roof. I just had to kill it. Dang thing. Tried to roll up on me. Uh, so let's go down here and check. I don't actually even know how much power we have or how much UU matter we've been able to create. Now, this thing's been running for a while. I don't even know what the story is with our nuclear reactor. Ooh, it's about out of power. That's okay. I think we're going to be able to get done what we need to do. The first thing we need to do, though, is we need to move some stuff around. Uh, I want to make sure that you guys know the correct order of these blocks. So, the scanner... So, the pattern storage, that block right here, let's break this guy. Okay, and we're going to break this guy. It's a little painful because we kind of messed up there a little bit. And we are going to lose some power out of this guy. So he's charging back up. Um, the thing I want to do is I'm going to take the recycler and I'm going to take out these. Okay, take those out. And this thing should now be filling up a lot faster. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to take this guy out. Um, we're also going to take... I really can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop this process. I guess if I had a lever. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. I don't even think I have any cobblestone. Okay. Because I've literally used every scrap of cobblestone that I have. Let's go up here and let's grab ourselves a lever. Let's see if we can't stop that guy. We want to try to get some power into the scanner. I should have had that set up right the first time, but I did not, unfortunately. So I need a stick. And I need a single piece of cobblestone. Um, I do have a single piece of cobblestone. Sweet. So let's make ourselves a lever. Quick. We'll go like that. All right. Let's go back out here and head back down. And we're going to see if we can't fire this thing up. So let's see what happens. Let's head down here like a so. We'll eat a little something as we fall down through this little hole. Okay. And then we're going to put this lever on this guy. Okay. Is he done now? Yeah. So we should see this guy filling up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So the order of the machines has to be replicator, pattern storage, scanner in that order right there. So if you do them right the first time, you don't have to worry about losing um, essentially 500,000 EU. But it's not too bad. Okay. So here's how this thing works. If we take our replicator... I brought a fluid pooling upgrade, and we're going to click on this guy like so. And we can put this thing in here like this. And you'll see that 143, that's how many we had, it's not too bad. 143 millibuckets of UU matter has been transferred from the matter, the matter fabricator into the replicator. Now, you go into your scanner, and we're going to scan something. How about like a diamond, okay? And it takes a while. Um, it takes a fair amount of power, but it's going to scan this diamond, and it's going to tell us how much UU matter this diamond is going to take to replicate. So let's actually, before we do any of that stuff, I want to take my nine iridium shards that we got quite a few episodes ago, and we're going to put these guys in the compressor, like so, right? And it's going to compress these things down into a, a piece of iridium ore which is ultimately the whole reason why you build this entire setup so you can get yourself iridium and you can get other stuff now if you happen to be one of those guys that are watching my age of engineering series 
you'll remember that crafting by by design in the mod pack is very very difficult so things like capacitors and advanced machine casings and even machine casings and things like that are somewhat expensive and you can alleviate some of that expense by using a replicator to make those right so if we take a look here we're at 40 percent scanned we're just gonna let this thing run out the rest of the way because this is an important thing because this is really the culmination or pretty much the end of uh, industrial craft 2 I mean this is the end game because once you have iridium and you can make you can sort of mass produce iridium right there's all these things that you can make and, it's, and it's essentially what you're trying to make is iridium reinforced plates and that takes alloys it takes a diamond it takes iridium ore and then with these plates you can make things like the quantum suit which is truly like end game armor essentially with this stuff on here as long as you've got a charge you're pretty much invincible um, at least for anything that normal minecraft is going to give you or even slightly modded there's definitely some bosses out there in modded minecraft that uh, the quantum suit's not going to keep you alive through but for most things you become essentially invincible um, you could also make like an upgraded iridium drill and you can make these neutron reflectors um, with uh, with these sh shards and then with the neutron reflectors um, you can use those I believe these are for like the next tier of reactor which is the what's it called the it's like the the these guys the mox one so we've got I can't remember exactly what these are for, but <laughs> uh, I've never built one of those reactors. Um, in most cases, you won't have to. But Iridium essentially unlocks the end game tools and armor that you need to be able to get all the way done with Industrial Craft 2. Um, we're not going to get that far, right? Essentially, this is it. Um, this last little bit here is really the end of the series. We are going to have episode 30 tomorrow where we're going to have a little bit of fun with a couple things. So anyway, this thing tells you that to make a diamond, it's 24.1 millibuckets of UU matter. And we could save that, okay? And then if we go over here to our pattern storage, right, we have one pattern, and it's a diamond, right? 24.1 millibuckets. And we can scan all kinds of stuff, but we can also scan our piece of iridium ore. Now, one thing you have to remember is when you scan you lose uh, the the thing that you scan it disappears okay but now that we've got this diamond pattern in here we can go over here to our replicator and say hey I wanna make a diamond do I have enough UU matter yeah I have 143 buckets so I can make a diamond if I want to right and I can make one diamond or I can say hey I want you to keep making diamonds as long as you've got power or until you hit a stack not power but UU matter Okay. You can also put uh, overclock upgrades in here. It definitely runs through the power quicker, but it makes this process a little bit faster. We're not going to make a diamond, though, because the whole purpose of this setup that we have, although it's on a pretty small scale, because if you're going to build this in a mod pack where you've got Industrial Craft 2 because you want to replicate things like Iridium, so for example, in age of engineering we have to use iridium for all kinds of stuff because it's such a difficult material to produce sometimes mod makers or mod pack makers will say hey here's this really difficult thing we're gonna gate all these advanced machines or even progression sometimes on this one thing that's super hard to make so for example in age of engineering I have a bunch of nuclear reactors I've got a bunch of other ways to create power all to make sure I can make tons and tons of UU matter that so I can replicate things like iridium or whatever types of stuff you want to do and it's not just for things like that are super expensive like I could use a piece of dirt and scan that and be able to mass produce dirt using UU matter so lots and lots of things can be scanned for example some things are gonna be super expensive some things are gonna be super cheap so just be aware of that and even though it took a long time for us to get this 143 millibuckets of UU matter um, if you have a monster setup where you've got maybe bunches of recyclers making bunches of of scrap maybe feeding into multiple matter fabricators 
Uh, maybe you have a big tank somewhere where you're holding you, you matter, and you're on a server where you can log off and come back a day or so later. You might come back to several buckets of you, you matter, and then it makes these costs, such as the cost for a diamond, seem trivial, right? 24 millibuckets. So if you had an entire bucket of you, you matter, you could make what? Four, 40? 40 diamonds from a bucket of UU matter? That's pretty good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here is our piece of iridium that's been scanned. 120 millibuckets of UU matter, and we're going to save that, okay? And then we go to our replicator, and we pick iridium, and we say, go. All right, and it's slowly consuming the amount of UU matter that we have, and it's fabricating, replicating a piece of iridium at the cost of 120 millibuckets, remember a bucket is a thousand millibuckets of UU matter. So we're gonna let this thing finish and we're gonna have a piece of essentially copied iridium. And we're gonna be back to where we started, right? Because we had one, we scanned it, and now we're gonna have, a, have that one back again. But the difference is now that we've scanned it, we could essentially, if we had the, the mechanism and the facility to produce tons and tons of UU matter, to continually produce these and then we'd be on our way just to give you an idea if you're gonna make a quantum suit you need 40 pieces of iridium ore now we know we remember where we got these right we went running all around in the nether nether fortresses looked in chests and we found the pieces of iridium that we needed to be able to get the nine shards we actually got more than that because we made some other stuff with four of the shards uh, I can't remember what we made I don't know. Let's take a look here. Let's see what what can we do with these guys right here? Oh, we made the jetpack attachment, so we could attach our jetpack to our nano suit that we're wearing right now, right? Okay, so this should be done. Yeah, done, right? So we made a piece of iridium ore. We replicated it. We scanned it, and now we can replicate it. And if we had enough UU matter, we can make more, right? So that's the process. That's how you get to the point where you can duplicate iridium uh, essentially for as long as you want to. Now the best way, I mean I, I said this the other day, that Industrial Craft 2 is an amazing mod and I really really like it. I love the mechanics, I love that it's not super easy and you gotta kinda work to get the stuff that you want, which I think is pretty awesome. But at the same time, as a standalone mod, it's not great. Uh, I mean, it's fine. We did everything that we wanted to. We made an awesome set of armor. We got ore processing, ore doubling, all those different things. And we've gotten to the point where we can replicate items using UU Matter. But when you have a, a mod pack that provides you with other ways to mass produce items, such as like a cobble generator or chisel and bits or something like that, that's where this whole process really starts to shine because you can mass produce UU matter. We can turn this guy back on. We can mass produce UU matter, right? Um, it's still slow, but it's doable, and you can end up with, you know, stacks on stacks <laughs> of UU matter, or buckets on buckets, I guess. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I mean, I had a good time with One Man, One Mod Season 2. I was going to sleep through the night, but you know what? Let's just call this episode a done deal. Oh, there's another dang skeleton over there. That one's got boots on. You know what we're going to do, guy? I'm getting this out. I'm turning it on. And I'm about to one-shot you. You got boots on? Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get dead. Man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Uh, until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my one-man, one-mod series of Industrial Craft tutorial, spotlight, walkthrough messing around, having a good time, a mod pack. We're not quite done. We're going to have one more episode because I think it's important to revisit the nuclear reactors and talk about what happens when you don't build them right. <laughs> I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.